Hey there, this is Marty with Digital Design Tips. Today I'm going to show you how to make something a specific size in Illustrator. And in this case, I have a rectangle I just drew up. And I'm going to want my transform palette from the window menu. And you can see there I have width and height. That's the part we're going to be focusing on right now. And click on this. This will show its the width of this is 102.419 millimeters. So let's say I want to change this to 150 millimeters. Let's type in 150 millimeters, hit enter, boom. And it did change the height proportionally, as you can see, which is good in most scenarios, especially if you're working with a logo or text or something like that. But let's say uh, I did want to do it unproportionally. I want to make this 50. It's just going to do the height now that I've unchecked that link. And it left the width alone. Now I have 150 by 50. Again, now I want this 175 proportionally scaled. There we go, 175. And another important thing, let's say I don't want millimeters. I'm going to go to Preferences. And I'm going to go to Units. And you can pull that down to inches, let's say. You want inches. And this needs to be 7 inches wide by proportionally how tall. Or like we said, we can unlink it. We can make it 7 by 3. And if you were to hit print, you're going to have a 7 inch by 3 inch rectangle. And like I was saying, you can use this with just about anything. Even type. I type the word design. I want that to be six inches wide. And oh, I didn't do it proportionally. Six inches wide. Let's try that again. It's good to see that. There we go. Six inches wide by however tall it proportionally scales to. And that's how you do that. Don't forget to subscribe and check out our full blog at digitaldesigntips.com.